Recall that readers are often required to draw inferences, or conclusions that are strongly supported by the passage, while reading. Sometimes, these inferences are based on formal logic, which means their truth is logically guaranteed by the statements in the passage. A lot of times, this happens because the inference is the contrapositive of an if-then statement in the passage. And we'll look at an example of what that means right now. To illustrate this point, consider the following sentence. Moreover, tires that are not inflated to the appropriate pressure result in a slight decline in fuel economy. Well, what can we infer from this? Before we draw any inferences, it would be reasonable to rewrite this sentence in a logical way. We can rephrase the sentence as, if tires are not inflated properly, then their fuel economy declines. It's a cause and effect relationship. If you do not inflate your tires to the right pressure, you won't get the maximum miles per gallon that you can with your car. So the contrapositive of this is that if you have perfect fuel economy, if it is not declined at all, it must be the case that your tires are also inflated properly. And in fact, an inference like, to get optimal fuel economy, a car must have properly inflated tires, is just a restatement of the contrapositive, and is therefore valid. We'll take a look at two more inferences. This one says, a car with poor fuel economy also has poorly inflated tires. This is not a valid inference, because there are a lot of ways that a car could get poor fuel economy. Its tires might be perfect, but perhaps you've put sugar in the gasoline, or replaced your carburetor with a hamster. These things can also damage your fuel economy. Finally, a car's carbon footprint can be reduced by paying careful attention to the air pressure in the tires. This is probably a valid inference, but it is not guaranteed by logic in the same way that the first one we discussed is.